Oh, uh, I see. All right, it really is. Okay, well, time to drink. What just happened? I'm glad that I shrunk my clothes, too. That would have been quite awkward. Okie doke. Um... What is this, a star man with nitra? Are these candles? God damn, it's bright in here. What is that? That's a, it's a mega chandelier. <laughs> okay. What? These are animals dancing around. Where am I? Oh, I walked up onto the ceiling. Ah, this is very pretty. Huh. You know, this feels really familiar for some reason. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> All right. Well, is that how you're dressed for the qu uh, for Queen uh, Egliet's dancing party? <laughs> but these are the only clothes I have. <laughs> I like their little laugh there. It's fucking silly. All right. Well, we've got a bunny over here. What's good? Oh, or the severed head of a plush toy rabbit. Is he all right? Yes, I am all right. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> ah, you can talk. Yes, indeed I can. Although it's a shame I can't dance anymore. What happened? Do you don't have a body? It's not a happy tale, miss. Are you sure you want to listen? If it's all right with you. Take a seat then. It might take a little while. In the past, Mrs. Fox and I were the best dancers in the whole kingdom. We quickly became the queen's favorite couple and we would dance for her, uh, for her every day. But we were the star of every... No, oh, because we were the star of every dance party and we were even invited... And we were even invited to dance for the uh, for Queen Egliot's most precious friend. Next thing we knew, everyone had become jealous, even envious of our talent. I see. One night after the Queen's biggest, one of the Queen's biggest dance parties, we were ambushed in the dressing room by the other dancers. Ambushed? Apparently we were too perfect and didn't leave them any chances to be recognized by the Queen. That's the excuse they used to rip our bodies apart. They hit our limbs, leaving only our heads behind so we could watch them dance in our place. That's horrible. Indeed it is. Is there any way I can help you? I believe there isn't much you could do, miss. I don't know where they've hidden our bodies, and they could be anywhere. I might be able to get them for you, Mr. Rabbit. That you could, but how are you planning to do so? I believe it's a worthy try. Please let me help you. You are truly kind, miss. Uh, may I know your name? I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit. I don't seem to know my own name. But I will definitely help you, Mr. Fox. Thank you, miss. And please, if you run into her by any chance, please tell her that everything is going to be alright. You can leave that to me. I like that rabbit, and I also heard a door unlock, but I think I see the fox. Maybe she's asleep. I shouldn't bother her for now. This is majestic, dude. This is... I love this scene right here. And there's still something really fucking familiar about it. Uh, maybe I played another game with a big dancing scene. Why are you sitting over there? What did you say? I can't hear you from over here. I'm asking you, why are you sitting so far away from me? You're asking me if I want to practice skiing? No, you pumpkin head. I'm asking you why you're sitting over there and not over here. No, I don't like my beef rare and on medium heat. I like mine well done. That's disgusting. <laughs> Never mind. I'm just kidding, by the way. Although I have seen people who like to eat steak slightly charred. Ugh. Why is beyond me? I, I, it seems like a huge waste of steak. I wonder if I'd become a very handsome, pr wait, uh, I wonder if I'd become a very handsome prince if I got a kiss from a pretty girl. You're pretty. How about you try it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, did anything change? No, not really. <laughs> Maybe it's because we're not truly in love with each other. Probably. Don't give up, Mr. Pumpkin. My dream is to become a famous pianist. Do you think I could do it? Yes, definitely. 
I still can't see my own reflection. It's just the piano we had at home. Another pumpkin charm. Yeah, uh... I haven't been getting pumpkin charms, am I... Is there a max of three? Because I notice it keeps... The, or am I gaining three? Oh, that would be interesting. It's like someone's playing the harp. The bows are moving on their own. This is wondrous. I love this right here. This is this is good shit. Ah, there's really no way to tell how many of those I have. Oh no, 12 charms. So I am gaining three from each of those. Whoa. I see. Well, unfortunately, I also don't see a save file around. Um, hey, there's a pumpkin there. So it's a pumpkin for eating or a talking one. The queen filled me up with punch. Isn't that hilarious? Are you feeling all right? All right? Did you just ask me if I was doing all right? I've never felt this free in my entire life. I swear, I, uh, I could fly if you threw me out the window. Let's not do that. <laughs> Can I talk to these people? We're all trying our best to please the uh, to please Queen Negliet. Hopefully, one of us will be chosen as the best dancing couple of the night. I wish you all good luck. Thank you, Miss. We're practicing for tonight's party. What do you think of our dancing, Miss? It's wonderful. You two look very elegant. Why, thank you very much. Move out of the way. You're pestering us. Okay, fuck them. Would you like to come dance with us? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how to dance. That's a shame. Hmm. Maybe I can dance with this. Oh, those are roses. There's a lot of roses throughout this whole mansion, I guess, just sitting around. Gosh, look how it looks outside. Just purple and starry and fucking perfect. I want to be here, dude. This this looks awesome. I love how sparkly and illuminated it all is. Right, okay, so this dude, he needs uh, a body. Maybe I can dance with him if I find his, his stuff. Oh my god, the reverb of hearing the music in the back. That's awesome. I'm really looking at this game. I need your help, desperately. Yes? How can I help you? You see, last Tuesday I won the Kingdom's Lottery and the Queen gave me a shiny coin to use on that machine around the corner, but I can't seem to be able to use it. Oh, so you'd like me to do it for you? If you don't mind, I've hidden the coin beneath my leaves. <laughs> this one, right? Yes, yes, that's the one. Use it. I want to see what my prize is. Alright. Oh, something came out. What is it? What is it? Let's see. A fancy ribbon. Oh, that's gonna look amazing on your stem. A ribbon? It's really cute. You don't like it? I do, but I'm a boy. Well, that doesn't matter. I can't use my ribbon. Uh, I'm sorry, miss. It seems I can't play my prize after all. I think that you can. Yes, you can. There. See? It looks pretty on you, Mr. Pumpkin. It does? There are no mirrors here, so I can't tell. Leave that to me. Got the pocket mirror. Look at that. That is beautiful. There you go. <laughs> See? You're right, miss. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Pumpkin. Kick ass. Uh. Hmm. Great surprises await you in this room. Ringmaster. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Great surprises. Like, decapitation and all that shit. Alright, let's see. This box is locked shut. Oh, uh, they all locked? Oh, wait. Why, hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? You scared me. What kind of game is it? Why, hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? Uh, I see. Uh, uh, sure. All right. Tell me the answer to the t next, this next riddle and you'll be highly rewarded. Should you come upon any trouble, don't hesitate to ask the ringmaster. Yes. At his own funeral, did Matthias see, gathered by an op the open grave, his family of three, father, mother, and brother. Um, and a couple more who didn't bother. What? Oops, you got it wrong. Ow! 
What the fuck? What? At his own funeral, did Matthias see, gathered by the open grave, his family of three, father, mother, and brother, and a couple more who didn't bother. Um, wouldn't that be five? No, a couple more who didn't bother. Well, then it would be three, right? I guess. Be careful now, little girl. What the fuck? I'm getting annihilated. Every box will have their own riddle to present to you. Think hard and be clever uh, for the... Uh, there is a riddle that has no answer. Get it right and you shall advance. Get it wrong three times and there won't be a fourth chance. Should any question arise, don't hesitate to ask me. The ringmaster, I am standing here to serve thee. Huh. At his own funeral did Matthias see, gathered by the open grave, his family of three. Father, mother, and brother and a couple more who didn't bother well um fuck I guess in a sick way his father and brother could be the same person um yeah I'm and a couple more who didn't bother Well, then I guess I would go for two or four, and because a couple is usually two, um, and this is the fourth box, so it's not going to be this one. Too bad, see you in another life. Fuck. Alright, I'm confused. I hope they explain the answer, uh, to be honest. Wait, this might be the, not be the most recent save. Oh, I think it is. How's it going? So it's not 5, 3, or 2. Well... I've got three tries, I'm guaranteed to get it this time. You're rather smart, aren't you? Six. Was there six? Here's the next riddle. Oh, fuck. Okay, wait. He had his father, mother, and brother there, and a couple more who didn't bother. I'm very confused. And a couple more who didn't bother. Well, it sounds like there's a couple more in his family who didn't bother coming. And that's why I went with three. I went with five, maybe because the two that didn't bother still came, but they didn't bother with something. How is he getting six? Unless they're using a couple as three instead of two. I don't know. Three times did Mar uh, Mary book my eye. Three times did she make me cry. Now tell me, little girl, how many times did I wish for her to die? Well, I would immediately go with six, but... Uh, yeah. Probably not six. Three times did she poke my eye. Three times did she make me cry. Oh, wait, or maybe three. Because they're all the same. Correct. Here's the next riddle. It's yellow, blue, red, and green. No one can reach it, not even the queen. Um, yellow, blue, red, and green. What? You want me to answer that with a number? My god, there's a lot of you assholes, aren't there? And you have been banned. <laughs> okay. Um. Like okay. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here for a sec with the whole 
like <laughs> buying followers thing. So I have a friend who used to do stuff on YouTube and still does occasionally. And in his channel recommendations, there's other channels. And one time I started looking through those other channels because I like uh, watching videos from smaller YouTube channels. Um, and one of them had, he had, oh gosh, what was it? He had like two, he had a little over 1,000 total views on his channel, but he had a little over 2,000 total subscribers. And it's like, there's, n clearly he's using bots to, to make himself look more popular, but I gotta wonder, what's the fucking point? Like, I mean, in that scenario, for example, I seeked him out specifically because he had lower amounts of subscribers. What is, what is the point of trying to make yourself look more popular in that way and especially how could you be so dumb as to not think oh yeah if i've got more total subscribers than views across my whole channel that's going to be suspicious unless literally a thousand people subscribe to him without watching a single video <laughs> i mean come on man i i don't get it i really don't so anyways um red what was it it's yellow blue red and green no one can reach it not even the queen Yellow, blue, red, and green. Yellow, blue, red, and green. Yeah, I, I have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. I'm gonna go for seven. I am impressed. I, I have no idea why that one worked. <laughs> Here's the next riddle. Uh, Katarina and Valentina were born on the 12th of September. One mysterious as the moon, the other cursed with a short temper. On the day Valentina returns to, uh, Katarina was half her age. Years have passed, filled with turmoil and rage. On the day Valentina turned to, Katarina was half her age. Uh, okay, so Katarina's one. On the day she turned ten, Valentina remembered her sister with sorrow. How many years will I be her el uh, would I be her eldest, had she lived another tomorrow? Well, it depends when she died. Uh, on the 12th of September, one mysterious as the moon, the other curse with short te short temper. On the day Valentina turns two, Katarina was half her age. Years have passed, filled with turmoil and rage. So Valentina was born a year before Katarina. The day she turned 10, Valentina remembered her sister with sorrow. How many years would I be her eldest had she lived another morrow? Okay, wait, which one is Katarina and Valentina? Oh. It doesn't tell you which one. One was- okay, I am assuming Katarina is- I mean, Valentina is the one with the short temper. Ah, okay. So it's the other way around. Day she turned ten- how many years would I be her eldest had she lived another morrow? I mean, another tomorrow. Well, just one, right? I assume. Hmm, it's not as if you're correct or anything. <laughs> okay, here's the next riddle. Having placed her five baked dish- I don't know, some of these seem like... Weirdly difficult. Um... And... Some of them are like so easy that I'm like, is there like uh, something I'm missing? Um, having placed her five baked dishes on the window led to cool, Mrs. Elizabeth headed down her house to buy pretty boxes and ribbons to wrap them up. Okay, five on the window ledge. Um, little did she know that while she was away, a robber had come and eaten two of them, followed by a stray dog who ate another one. Once Mr. Elizabeth came back, she was gutted to know that disaster uh, the disaster that had occurred. How many dishes uh, were saved on that dreadful day? Two. What? <laughs> the fuck? I did get it wrong. Uh, okay, five dishes on the windows to cool. She headed to town to buy boxes and ribbons to wrap them up. Little did she know that while she was away, a robber had come and eaten two of them. Okay. So, now there's three. Oh wait. 
uh, followed by a stray dog who had another one. Now there's two. A robber had come and eaten two, followed by a stray dog who ate another. Once Miss Elizabeth came back, she was got to know the disaster that had occurred. How many dishes were saved? What? How is it? She... Okay. She put five on the ledge to cool. She went to town to buy some boxes to wrap them. Little did she know that while she was away, a robber had come and eaten two of them, followed by a stray dog who ate another one. Once Miss Elizabeth came back, she was gutted to know the disaster that had occurred. I... Maybe three? I, I don't... Be careful now, little girl. What? I'm really confused now. Can I still save? Oh, I can. Well, I'm gonna... Bingo! What? I have no idea. What do you mean five were saved? I... What? I don't know, man. I wish they would explain these riddles in case you just by chance got it. I still want to know the answer. Like, why is five the answer? Two books rest on a shelf. One is upside down and the other is backwards. Um, so tell me, little girl, what is the sum of the first page in each book? What? Two books rest on a shelf. One is upside down and the other is backwards. What is the sum of the... Oh, maybe the title? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's too many letters. I don't. Too bad. See, yeah. Is this game just like dooming me? Does it just go on forever? <laughs> Okay, uh, maybe three? Now I'm just guessing random shit now. God damn it. Boy, this game could really go with a higher resolution, I have to say. Because it is beautiful, but, well, I don't know. I guess the low resolution does sort of give it a, a certain aesthetic. I... Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to go look up this riddle because it's, it's giving me so little information that I really do wonder if there's even an answer to this. Oh, you know, the ringmaster said that one of them didn't have an answer. Every box will have their own riddle to present to you. Think hard and be clever, for there is a riddle that has no answer. Get it right and you shall advance. Get it wrong three times and won't be a fourth chance. Right. So, then... Ah! Grabbing pumpkin charms all over the fucking place. Ah, look at that shit. <laughs> okay, am I... He looks really happy. Awesome. It's locked. Ah, wonderful. So, if there is one that has no answer, then how the fuck am I supposed to leave without dying? 
small girl big brains. I guess two, apparently. I don't see how. <sighs> I, I think I probably, after I finish streaming today, I probably will go back to this part and look up these riddles to see why they, they're answered the way they are. On a dreadful night illuminated by a bright full moon, our love flourished like a flower in bloom. With a poisonous kiss on a waning crescent, did I take your essence in necrophagous ravishment? <laughs> uh, okay. Bathed in the following darkness, did I dig your grave, putting you to rest in a final w farewell, your body did I crave. On a waxing moon, 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 I had my punishment. Between heaven and hell, I, did I dwell on con in confinement? What? Wait, such a brutal story. This one is quite hard, isn't it? Try to recall the previous riddles. You might figure something out. I see. On a dreadful night. Damn it. I don't remember any of the old riddles. I wasn't thinking about the old riddles. I'd like to figure this out, but at the same time, I have no fucking clue. Um, well, I don't think I've hit seven yet. So I'm going to go with that. Fuck. I should have saved. I don't know why I didn't save. That was... Silly. Okay. This one. Oh, I don't actually remember. What? Oh man, that's back when I hit five. Alright, now I'm just confusing myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, this game would be a lot better played on a laptop, because it has such a small screen. Ooh, that would be... Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing about big, big screens, is that you know, it's cool to look at. There's a lot of space, but it makes everything kind of blurry. Um, right. Okay. And this. Okay. Now I will go save. Have I done one yet? No. I mean, yes, I did one. Okay. One your part, two words on each page, three, I don't actually remember, four is what we started with. Huh. Correct. Apparently. Here's the final riddle. I am all powerful and mighty. Going through doors is my speciality. Many in these twisted halls will stand, but fear not, my girl, have me in hand, for with a gentle touch I can undo the restraints cast out upon you. A key, a hat, or a roasted chicken. Um, I would assume a key, but that makes me think that it's a roasted chicken, I fucking guess. I, uh, I can't exit out of the selection either to hear the riddle again. Well, I guess I'll go with a key. Good job, miss. You're truly one smart, uh, you're, you are one truly smart little girl. As promised, here's your reward. Acquired a dazzling key. Thank you, mister, but where am I supposed to use this key? Oh, I wouldn't know. I found it on the floor the other day. Good job, miss. That was quite a show. Here's a little hint for the future. Be kind and caring of you, for your opponents will tend to be rather daring. Yeah, well, I was kind and caring and then I... Miss? It's good. I have one more riddle for you. Would you like care to listen? Yeah, sure. What gets broken without being held? Uh. Well, someone's heart, I guess. 
I'm sorry, but I need time to think on that one. Worry not, little girl, for that riddle's answer does not belong to me. It belongs to you. <laughs> nice. Okay, then I will save again. Um, okay, so... Yeah, that was a weird segment. I, I don't know why most of those answers were the way that they were. Um, some of them were really easy, some of them were just, I have no idea. Oops, I would actually like to look at the description. A dazzling golden key decorated with a silky magenta ribbon. Alright, well, making some good progress. Alright, there's some doors down here. Ooh, we got a whole fucking extra party in here. No pumpkins allowed. There's pumpkins all over the place. Good evening, miss. Have we possibly met before? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I see. That's a shame because I would totally carve your pumpkin. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Here, but I don't have any pumpkins with me right now. That's all right, miss. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Have a nice evening. Yeah, I'm gonna stay the hell away from that guy. Oh, Rabbit, you're so funny. Let's be together forever and ever. Eh. A fancy cabinet made entirely of walnut wood. Fragile looking tea sets rest inside, carefully arranged on the shelves. And that's three more pumpkin charms. Fuck yeah. I don't know what those are used for yet, but I assume they're probably good. This tea is quite delicious. Speaking of which, I wonder who Queen Egliet will choose. Aren't you excited? Yes, I am. Tonight's dance party is going to be fabulous. I can't wait. Yeah, it's, it's happening right now. You might want to... Okay. <laughs> don't you hear the music? All these people are completely uneducated. Can you believe most of them don't know how to read? Pathetic. Well, that's probably not their fault. What a pretty little girl you are. Listen, do you happen to know how to sew? Yes, I do. How did you know? Don't be silly. Of course I didn't. Either way, you can have this. Acquired a needle and thread. Thank you, miss. Why did the music stop? Oh, I see. Okay, it's just on a loop. I was like, okay, what is up with this needle? Everyone likes to party here. Isn't that nice? I don't even know how to play chess. Just don't tell anyone. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm just not good enough. What's wrong, miss? Oh, it's nothing. You're too young for this kind of thing. That's a shitty thing to tell anyone. Shh, I'm hiding. A tall clock stands in a corner, its hands running across its face as if in a hurry. <laughs> Interesting way to describe that. Happy Halloween. Ah, oh, it's a Halloween party. I love the music here. It's locked. Ah, well, how's it going? I'll definitely become a handsome prince someday. You'll see. Oh, yeah. Forgot about you. And that one's locked, too. Okay, we got a key. Uh, not there. Okay, maybe on this door? Whoops. Nice. All right. Wow, those are some floofy dresses have you heard the rumors they say mrs fox has slipped into eternal slumber due to what happened oh i love stories with unhappy endings what a horrible thing to say well it's not, they're oftentimes more realistic unfortunately oh this maid uniform looks like one of the ones at home all right no ra raking in the pumpkin charms I don't especially like black dresses. What? Black dresses are the best. I like black dresses. I think they look better than any other color. Such a frilly dress. It's so elegant. They're moving. No, I'd better not. Yeah. They always tell me to turn around when they're changing clothes. It's so unfair. <laughs> okay. Um, so we got purple, red, and blue. Uh, I think I'll probably save before I interact with any of that, lest it kill me like a lot of things in this game seem to love doing. That is not a room with a save point. It, uh, wait, where did I come from? Didn't I come from this room? Oh, maybe not. No, that's right, I came from the ceiling. <laughs> All 
right. I'm gonna go for the purple one. All right. No music. The queen's here. Too bad I'm stuck facing the wall. This is a very special day. The queen has just arrived, I think. What's going on here? I want to talk to the pumpkins. I'm just here to watch them all be executed. That's an awful thing to say. <laughs> I'm having a weird deja vu. What's deja vu? It's when stupid people ask ignorant questions. <laughs> That's fucking mean. Thank you all for attending this special ceremony. You have all given me your best, but as you know, only one of you can become my favorite couple. All the others who don't make it will be executed. Wow, that's... fucked. Executed? Who dares interrupt my ceremony? I... I'm just... Silence! Who are you? Where did you come from? What are you doing at my ceremony? I... I'm just looking for something. Oh, and what might that thing be? Um, I'm looking for limbs. Such a gruesome request for such a fragile looking girl. Come closer, my girl. I shall aid you in your request. Thank you. You're more than welcome, miss. She's gonna cut my fucking arm off or some shit, isn't she? Yep, hold out your hand for me. All right. Here, you can have this one. Yeah, I don't know. Yep. I don't know, ever since, uh... Ever since playing The Witch's House, anytime somebody says, lend me a hand, I can't help but think of something like that. <laughs> okay, um... That sounded like a shitty portal to go through. Let's go through one of the other ones this time. Wait a minute. Oh wait, no, we already got the pumpkin charms, that's right. Okay. They're broken. That's what you get. Oh, fuck. Oh. What happened? Yeah, this is... That was the wrong portal. Two corpses lay in a pool of bloody stuffing, although they're completely torn apart. Uh, their hands are still adjoined in a firm grip. Are they holding hands? Shut tight. It was quite a show, miss. You should have been here to watch. The corpse was reduced to a pool of blood and stuffing. Acquired a severed leg. Yeah, okay. One of their hands came flying at me. It was so scary. Hmm. Oh, hey, what's good? Something strange inside. Don't you dare give me into the guards. Is there anyone looking for me out there? I don't know. I desperately need your help. You're the only one who can help me. Alright. I need you to go outside and come back and tell me what's going on. Can you do that? I'll try. Well, I, I've been outside. But the fact that you're hiding makes me want to go back out there a lot less. It wasn't me. I'm not even a dancer. I don't even have any legs. Uh, a very dangerous fugitive dancer is wanted by the royal guards. Anyone who turns them in will receive two lollipops as a reward. Uh, yo, what's good? Don't get it in our way. These are Queen Negliot's orders. Shut tight. 
So are these different points in time, maybe? Door won't budge. All right, well. What are you standing there for? Hurry. I have hurried. Well, uh, there's not much more I can do. Yes, I'm off. Okay, that was... It's a solid mirror. I can't go back. Oh, okay. Uh, that sucks. Hey, miss, what are you doing here? I was just... A little girl like yourself shouldn't be wandering around in a place like this. I'm sorry, I'm just... We're looking for a fugitive dancer. Have you seen her by chance? No. I see. Please let us know if you see her. She's very... She's a very serious threat to the kingdom's safety. I see. Yeah, your kingdom seems to be... Kind of fucked. The guards are looking for you outside, miss. I see. Could you open the cabinet for me? All right. I got you, you're coming. Oh my God. What are you doing? Let me go. What's all this ruckus? That's her. We found the murderer. Please let me go. Silence, this girl is now my hostage. Shoot me and she shall die as well. Yeah, I don't think they probably care. Try that again. Oops. Okay, so we've got um What was the purple one? Fuck, I've already forgotten. Uh right, the purple one was uh an execution, the red one is hell world. Let's see what the blue one is. Okay. Come closer, little girl. Come closer. I have a big secret to tell you. What is it, Mr. Pumpkin? I am actually a pumpkin. Boy, you are bored. Don't pay attention to that guy over there. He thinks he's a comedian. Oh, cool. Okay. Not death everywhere, at least. What is going on here? Hey, you. What might a young girl like yourself be doing here? Can't you see there's a very important investigation going on right now? Oh, I'm sorry, I was just... Oh, well, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Tell me now, do you happen to know how to read? Yes, I do. Great, then could you please read this riddle for me? I killed not one, but eight pairs in two. Clap your hands and you'll be able to see through. That detective is pretty ignorant. He will never see the answer. I killed one... I, I killed not one, but eight in pairs of two. Okay. Um, kisses and hugs from the ultimate best dancer. What was that? Who wrote this riddle? Did you you read it wrong, you foul-mouthed girl? No, I read exactly what was written here. You know what? I have better things to do than playing detective. You are a detective. Execute them both. I want to go home. Ah, oh, wonderful. Good job, guards. Our work here is done. As for you, my girl, you can have this. Acquired a bloody bag. Yeah, holy shit. Um, what the fuck? Two severed arms and a severed leg. Okay, well, I know what I need to do now, at least. Please let me through. Okay. Um, so... 
Damn, man. Uh, this game really throws you for a loop. Every time that it, uh... I don't know, I don't really know how to describe it. Every time that it... Like, this scene here, this is a, this is beautiful, with a sparkly floor and the happy people dancing around and the, you know, funny pumpkins and shit. You know, it's, it's... I like it, it's awesome. But, you know, then I go through one of those portals and I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot that we're being ruled by some... You know, empathyless homicidal puppet. Hmm. Is it homicide, though? Because it's not a puppet killing puppets. Oh, I see. Okay, sure. <clears throat> you there. You're going through a lot of trouble for us, miss. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry, Mr. Rabbit. I'll definitely save you both. Thank you, miss. Oh, uh, we got a fox leg. The fuck is that? That was just a pillow. Maybe I'll leave this... Those here for a bit. Yeah. Okay then. To continue, oh wait, nope. I'm gonna go save first. I don't really wanna have to go do that again. <clears throat> so, okay. Did I even get any limbs from the hell world looking one? Wait, yes I did. But I didn't get any limbs from the purple one. God damn, what was the purple one? I forgot. Right, execution, she took my limb, okay. That one, I think, I just chose wrong choices. I gotta try again. <laughs> Ship, sorry. I, was, I thought that was an automated one. Uh, right, okay. I'm looking for a leg. Is it you? No. There we go. Okay, we got a fox like now. Fuck, it's still solid. Okay, there's something else I need to do in here. Um, probably just find more limbs. Door won't budge. Ah, this one will though. Oh right, this was the one where you fucking killed me. Forgot about that. Okay. Go out here. I think there should be guards now. Yeah, but I gotta talk to you. Yes, I have. You have? Where is she? Inside the cabinet in the tea room. Guards, you heard her. The police don't hurt her. Oh, they're gonna kill her, I'm sure. There you are, you murderer. You traitor, why did you give me in? I... I will never forgive- Yeah, I don't care. You killed me the other time. Our work here is done, men. Let's go report back to Queen Igliet. I hope I'm pronouncing that name, name right. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Well, I guess this character doesn't know the other side. The torn body of a dancer. Blood pours out of the various holes in her chest. I have no choice. Acquired a sever severed arm. Ugh. Fuck, it's still solid. Okay. Well, are the guards still out here? No. That dude got eaten by the piano, I see. Okay, that's shut. Other limbs, though. I don't, uh... I feel like I've checked all the bodies. 
Their limbs went flying through the air like swoosh and bam. Hmm. Ah, a loose torso. That's nasty. Yeah, I'm just a little girl carrying around, you know, like a whole fox, basically. Chopped up into several pieces minus the head. Hmm, that's a grim game. Okay, I think I got all fox body parts. Yeah. Okay, cool. No, wait. Gosh, I keep going in here to save. Do I have any more limbs? No, I don't. But now I know what the needle and thread are for. <laughs> okay, let's see... Alright, to the purple room. Hopefully this time I don't uh, get my fucking hand cut off. then um that's all the same um okay something i lost i guess i see that's unfortunate take a seat my girl i will look for whatever it is that you've lost after the ceremony thank you all right then hey you've got a flower in your I was about to say your hair, your stem. I wish I could dance like them, but unfortunately I'm just a pumpkin. I've waited half my whole life for this moment. I wonder who will win. This is so thrilling. I like the little, like, bubbles above her head for their, uh... Now I shall announce, uh, uh for their, for their, um... Man, this is really loud. Alright, that's a little better. Now I shall announce the winning couple. Anyways, what was I saying? Right, the speech bubble above their, um, above their head sometimes when they emote. That's kind of cool. Which is... Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox. Congratulations to the winners. You may step aside. As for all of you failures, you shall be executed. She can't just murder everyone. Well, it hasn't stopped her before. Soldiers, march. Why would you even be in this competition? It just doesn't seem like... Wait! Farewell, my servants who have served me well. Hmm. The black blood is... kind of off... off-putting. Now that that's taken care of, it's time for tea. As for you... Clean up this mess before leaving, will you? Or else? Yes, I will. When I think of left footsteps, that's not really what I have in mind. <laughs> okay. I'll grab that arm. Pitch black stuffing slowly oozes from the dancer's wounds, staining their once shiny fur. Acquired two severed legs. The couple's bodies lie torn apart, their expressions forever frozen in the moments of terror before the first exe at their executions. I don't know why I said first. <clears throat> This is horrible. Um, that's the same. Acquired a loose torso. Yeah, this is a pretty fucked up society. Right. Okay. Anyways.
Well, I didn't really clean up much of that mess. You know, this, uh... Ugh. This, 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 uh, kingdom kind of makes me think of 1984, but in a more fantasy sort of a sense, rather than like an industrial dystopia. It's like a fantastical dystopia. Ugh. I mean, it really is similar in the way that it seems like a society built on suffering. Uh, here. I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit, but this is all I could find for now. That's quite all right, my girl. Thank you for your help. I'm glad I'm able to help you. All right, let's get to sewing. Wait, I have a fog arm as well. You there. Okay, I'm gonna sew you up. I think, yes. A golden needle carrying a crimson thread, okay. I've gathered enough parts for you and Mrs. Fox. Hopefully we can fix you with these. You've gone through so much trouble for the, for, uh, for the both of us. I can't thank you enough. I'm glad I, uh, I'm just glad I could help you. Tell me, do you know how to sew? Yes, I do. Would you please sew us back together? I wish to be reunited with Mr. Mrs. Fox. Of course, just let me find something to sew you with. So we can't... Eye transplants are too advanced, but when it comes to limbs and even whole torsos, we can just sew them up. Although these are animals, I suppose. And I said stuffing, so they're like living stuffed animals. I'll sew you first, Mr. Rabbit. Please do, miss. There, all done. Can you move? Whoa. Why, yes, indeed I can. That's a relief. I'm so glad. Let's sew Mrs. Fox next. Yes. All right. I wonder if she'll wake up now. Mr. Rabbit? Mrs. Fox, I'm so happy you're all right. I'm so glad. Thank you, miss. We owe you everything. You're welcome. I'm glad you two can dance again. Here, you can have this. I've kept it since the day the others ripped out, uh, ripped our bodies apart. Ah, a special key. That is the key to the theater. I'm sure it will come in handy. Thank you so much, Mr. Rabbit. Now, Mrs. Fox, will you give me this dance? Yes. I'm so happy I was able to help them. Thank you for helping us, miss. We owe you our happiness. Man, they're going at it. Look at that shit. They're twirling at twice the speed of anybody else. Okay, I'm gonna go save... Okay, do a little bit of that. The music in this game is super good. Although it's extremely loud. Sometimes. It's got the same problem that Detroit has. Not the city, but the game. <laughs> ah, I don't even see a lock on that. Oh, I can't understand what's written here. The handwriting's too messy. Quick, quick, take a seat. Quick, take a seat. The show's about to start. Okay, hold on. I want to look at all the shit around here. All the lines are cross. Yeah, that's for sure. It's a page ripped from a book. I've never seen this language before. There are dark stains splattered on these. Oh, it's a... Verat by Elise Ladle. What? The Anatomy of Melancholy by Robert Burton. It's filled with children's books. And I looked at that one already. Afternoon tea. Rhymes for children. <laughs> There's a very old book here. The Boy and the Pumpkin. Alright. The 
index of a book. A Witch's Guide to Medicinal Herbs. So many coloring books. Die. Oh, no. This is German. <laughs> the uh, group. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's a hard one. Um, the Gruppierung der uh, No, fuck. Yeah, I really don't know. Sichischen Krankheiten by Carl Ludwig Kalbaum. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that gutted pronunciation. Man, how do you even say that? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Um, the books on these shelves are glued onto the bookshelf. German is really fun to speak, but yeah, it's really hard. I mean, <laughs> it's, boy, it's a rough one. As far as pronunciation. All right. Oh, you look pretty cool. Welcome to the most incredible of shows, the most amazing and impressive prose of a little girl whose days are counted with none of her wishes ever being granted. <laughs> Aren't I an impressive poet? Who are you? <laughs> Looks like he's holding the Havoc staff from He-Man. <laughs> Don't trouble yourself with pet uh, petty questions, miss, but do enjoy your stay and please keep your memories close to your heart. Once upon a time, in a very special garden, there was a very special little girl. She loved taking naps outside the after, uh, in the afternoon and doing nothing all day. Such an adorable little slob. In fact, she was such a privileged little girl, she had her very own mountain of sweets. But that's not all. Uh, Egliette, her best of friends, never left her side. Just like sisters from the same mother. Haha, <laughs> I'm hilarious. A noisy little brat in her stuffed doll. What a better combination could there be? Together they were a riot. Known all over the kingdom as the supreme rulers. Or just two silly little kids. I don't know. Uh, they told each other many secrets, even embarrassing ones. Tea time was a very important event where they discussed very serious matters, which was the funniest pumpkin in the kingdom, for example. They also had many special cake parties and brains the size of a pea. Agliette was indeed, uh, oh. She was also stuffed with the girl's childish ways. One day, it started to rain, preventing, okay, what a shame. Inside Fleta's house was a secret place. Nevertheless, the intelligent girl she is, Fleta decided to wander in anyways. It's not as if a little rain could keep them from having fun. Inside the very secret room. <laughs> what could be written in this most amazing secret letter? <laughs> but what was this? The letter was filled with lies. Just who could have written all these lies? Uh, who was... There was simply no way... I can't read it. It's going by too fast. That's right. There was no way Fleta could have been involved in such despicable affairs. Fleta was nothing but a pure little girl. There was no way it could have been Fleta's fault. She looks a lot like that evil painting lady from before, simply because there was a very clear culprit. It was all that mean girl's fault. What with the dual scissors? <laughs> the name of that very evil culprit is... Oh my, things must have gotten interesting. What's going on? <laughs> that fucking scream, dude. Every time it's used, I can't help but think of the fast zombie from from Half-Life 2. It's just... <laughs> it's like... It's supposed to be scary, but it's like... It's, it's just silly now. Alright, let's see what fresh hell has wrought this dance floor. Okay... Oh, they probably want to get their revenge. Mr. Rabbit, what happened? Isn't it obvious, dearie? We took care of them. You don't mean you've done this to yourselves, do you? Why, yes, we have. Wasn't our work quite done quite beautifully? But why? I thought all you wanted was to dance again. 
Oh, sweetie, you have yet much to learn, and apparently hatred is still one of those things. How could you do something like this? How could we? You are well aware of what they've done to us, are you not, miss? This still doesn't justify what you've done. How doesn't it justify? Revenge, my dear, is a dish best served cold, do you understand? Now move along. We're very grateful for your good deeds towards us, after all. We owe you our most pure satisfaction. <laughs> this can't be. I mean, I, I, I can, I can, I can uh, understand why they did it. I mean, like she said, I don't think that it's right, but at the same time, you know, uh, I don't know. Imagine you're the best of the best at something. People are jealous, so they basically paralyze you and force them to watch, I mean, force you to watch them take your place, uh, for ever, basically. And also separate you from, you know, the person that you loved doing it with. Or even just the horrible knowledge that you guys are just across the room, but you have no way of getting to each other. No hope of ever returning to what you once were. So, yeah, I, I can understand it. That, uh... Oh, I can't go in there anymore. Ooh, I really want to save. Oh, not even the pumpkins are talking. Am I going this way? Yep. Cat room. There's even a cat pumpkin. What's good? Oh no, I'm allergic to cats. Oh, ew, what the fuck? <laughs> he sneezed out a pumpkin charm? Alright, and indeed I will save, uh, here. The queen is awaiting you. Yeah. What might be troubling you, little girl? I- I don't know, mister. What might not she know, little girl? I don't know why they would do something like that. I see. Listen, miss. Our existences, no matter how faint they might be, they do serve a purpose and will one day or another affect your- Oh, uh, in one way or another affect your own. I see. You can have this. I think it might cheer you up a little. Acquired a candy cane. Unfortunately, I can't accompany you on your journey, but I'm sure this will, uh, be able to reassure you in times of distress. Will with one L. Thank you, mister. You're very kind. Meow. Meow. <laughs> oh, kicking out the harpsichord. Queen Egliot's ceremony is about to start. How exciting. You're so lucky, miss. I wish I were an honor guest myself. An honor guest? Finally, now hurry on, the queen is awaiting you. Off with your head. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Finally, now hurry on, okay, same thing. That's all, what is this? A beautifully decorated chocolate tiered cake. Sitting on the carpet. Impressive. I knew you would be able to reach me. What do you mean? Silence! <laughs> I have but a couple of uh, matters to address with you, my girl. Firstly, I'm here by announcing your demise, for your, uh, you will not be advancing further in this, uh, than this very room. <laughs> Silence! Secondly, my dear, since you will soon be disappearing for good, I shall pay my respects. I have had enough with your mediocre attitude, my girl. I shall not tolerate it any further. As much as it is, uh, wait, as much as it is but a foolish gamble, I have made my, uh, I have made my own move. What? Now it is time for you to make yours. Oh, I see. Please wait, I need to explain, I need you to explain what's going on. Guards? No, please wait. It's in your hands, my girl. It is your turn to claim what's yours. Can I deflect a bullet with my mirror? Oh, it killed me. Grand. Okay, let's try that again.
Okay. I I didn't notice before, but the giant chess rooks. That's pretty cool. Okay, it's in my hand. The pocket mirror is always in her hand. Okay, not enough then, I guess. Ugh! Oh, it's just locked, isn't it? Uh, well, I mess her in Gable. Fuck. I thought when she said, because every time that, uh, the protagonist, who still doesn't have a name, um, shows up in, like, a text box like that, um, she is holding a, um, she's holding the, the watch, or not the watch, the mirror. It's in your hands. Well, there was a couple of items that I hadn't tried, so... Oh my god, here we go. It's in your hands, my girl. It's your turn to claim what's yours. Okay. Candy cane? Nope. Okay, I can juke these dudes pretty easily. They're pretty slow. Wait, what? Take this cake? Do I have cake? Oh. Can I eat more? No. But I'm fucking massive now. <laughs> okay, cool. What was that? was enlarging cake, I guess. <laughs> you shouldn't disturb the dead. The dead? You haven't heard the three knocks, have you? I sure haven't. I hope I don't. Well, that sounded like five. I'm not one to tell people how to live their lives, but there's just something that strikes me as a little odd about laying on a bed with a cross drawn in blood over the mattress. Just... Uh, <laughs> Wait, Queen Agliette. Wait, she did? Remember, remember just how tender were the queen's sweet little eyes of a traitor in disguise. What does this mean? No, she's on the wall. This isn't a bed. I got a confused perspective from, you know, a 2D game. She's been crucified with scissors. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. But honestly, I can understand with this queen specifically why that would happen. <laughs> I didn't see anything. Don't ask me. It wasn't. Yeah, I know. I know it wasn't you. These pumpkins seem pretty neutral. I don't have beef with the pumpkins. So peaceful and pure, just like Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, it really does look like that. It's coming from the big chest. Uh, do I have a key? I do not. A 
strong light overflows in between the iron bars, carrying a soft, cool breeze into the room. Yeah, well, I don't seem to be able to do anything with it. Not yet, anyways. Okay. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and, co uh, and cockle shells and pretty ma and pretty maids all in a row. Yeah, you have too, too many syllables there. <laughs> uh, okay. Blue, blue, I'd go blue. I'd definitely go with blue. Blue, blue, blue. Go with red. Red is the way to go. Go with red. Red, red. There's a note on the table. Hiding my darkened heart in a veil of innocence, I swore, weeping in the darkness, confiding with the moon. As the sun rises, I put on my golden crown once more, hoping to meet my beloved by the afternoon. Oh, there's a gold one. I can be stolen or given away and you will live, yet you cannot live without me. Heart. L H F. Where, uh, wait. What letter is like a cow's tail? Well, I guess the L. It's a kind of a weird thing to say. Or not? Is that good or bad? Did I fuck up? Oh, I did. It just sent me back to this room. All right. Um. I'm glad it didn't kill me. That was nicer than it usually is. Shapes like a cow's tail. It's F. I don't. Uh, sure. Uh. Okay. Sparkly golden key shaped like a heart decorated with a small strap. Acquired a golden key. Hmm. Okay then. Hmm. Another very strange room. Actually, you know, now that I know that she was crucified, I want to read that note again. Remember, remember just how tender were the queen's sweet little lies of a traitor in disguise. Hmm. Dude, somebody's calling. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hey, it fit. Oh, hey. You were the person in that play. All right, so who is the funny bunny who locks me inside this chest? You're that girl. Who are you? Oh, I'm, I've never seen you around here before. How did you get here? I just, I see. Did you see who locks me up inside this chest by any chance? Oh no, I didn't. The chest was already locked when I got here. That's a shame. Oh well, that's all right. I'm a good detective, so I'll catch the culprit in no time. Ah, I see. So, what are you doing here, miss? That's... I'm not gonna mention Eglif. I'm here to play. Oh, I see. It must have been really hard to get here. I'm surprised. Not at all. You know, I came here to look for Eglif, and all of a sudden I was inside that chest. It was really scary and dark, too. By the way, have you seen Eglif? I've been looking for her. Yes. She's in the hallway. <laughs> really? Let's go meet her then. I'll introduce her to you. Wait, I. You? No, never mind. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, ah, what's your name, miss? I'm Fleta. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know my own name. <laughs> what? Really? Yes. That's a shame. Now let's go. I have to find Egliad. Let's... Press A to interact with characters in your party. Ah! Okay. Oh, I'm playing as Fleta. Let's go find Egliad. I need to talk to her. I see. Well, okay. Here we go. Iglyat. <laughs> 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 
I don't know, dude. Your sister was kind of a f terrible person. We need to save her. She's... Look at how much blood there is, dude. She's fucked. But how? Do you want to get on my back? Guess that might work. I don't want to... Save her? Shut up. Just hurry. Almost there. Is she dead? Oh yeah, she was uh, crucified with scissors. So, that's interesting. I mean, I assume she's dead. Oh, I cleared. Is, <laughs> is she alright? Yeah, she's fine. Um, I'm glad. But she's ripped apart. What? I feel like these people are describing the obvious. Like, yeah, no shit. Literally, there's a cross drawn in blood on the wall. That That's a big one. <laughs> Don't worry, Flata, I know how to sew. You do? Yes, will you let me try? All right, but be careful. Of course. There, she's already. Dude, I don't want this queen back. She's... Oh, Egliot, I'm glad you're alright. Everything will be fine now I'm here with you. What was that? You didn't see who it was? That's fine, all that matters is that you're safe now. <laughs> Thank you so... <laughs> Thank you so much for saving Egliot. Oh no, it was nothing. No, no, I insist. <laughs> Egliot, I, um, Egliot and I want uh, to invite you to come play with us at my dollhouse. Would you like to come? Really? Can I? This is so surreal. They're talking like nothing's wrong, and there is still a cross drawn in blood that looks like it's maybe nine feet tall, just right, right, right in front of them. Of course. Come on now, let's go. Like, remember, remember just how tender were the queen's sweet little lies of a traitor in disguise. As tasteless of a joke as it can get, apparently. Okay, well, uh, kind of need a save point. What's good? Seems everything's all right. Not thanks to you. Well, I don't. Uh, I don't like Flata so far. Step back a little. I'm gonna do a magic trick. A magic trick. Do you know how to do magic? <laughs> uh hmm. Now watch. What the fuck? That was pretty good. A garden? Yes, this is my absolute favorite place to play. Oh, I see. We need to go through it to reach my dollhouse. Let's go, I will lead the way. Yeah, this is... a very strange world. It seems like a world where everyone constantly pretends everything is okay, even though that people are killing each other in needlessly brutal ways, like, all the time. Well, actually, I guess that's kind of like our world, huh? It's just, this one is a bit more, um, fantasy-driven, I guess. Um, on another note, I think I'm gonna end the game there. Um, or not end the game, but end the, uh, stream for now. Alright. Oh, go back to the start screen in it. <laughs> Shows you the opening logos again. It's pretty good music, I have to say, through the whole thing. Gaze, recollect, or close. That's cool. Um, yeah, though, I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot so far. Uh, it's, it's very, very well built. I mean, having used the RPG Maker engine uh, a couple times myself, honestly, it's... It, well, I mean, using a game engine and then playing somebody else's game in that engine it gives you a lot more detail about just how much effort was put in to making the game and holy shit this is extremely impressive especially since it's not even made with the most recent version of rpg maker um but yeah I, this is a this is a good one i'm enjoying it 